definitely it's laying pretty much right there. Mm -hmm. Occasionally you'll have to squirt some of this stuff out. Normally you take your ball your fist out, and a cow can be crapping. And you slip it in there. I mean you can you can you can probably should probably take the napkin and wipe it off, but if you do enough of them you can hold that open. But what I'll do is reach that cervix and I'll roll my wrist around. At the end, I'll find, get it right up there to the end of that and just roll that cervix instead of poking. Doc can tell you about the corks, the different layers to the cervix. So, you have three, three and five rings to work its way through. It's kind of like rings, so I've got to rotate that so it goes through. And then when I get just to the cervix, it's, it goes from a hard hard muscle to a thin, kind of a thinner skin, and that's where it goes to both tubes. Are we puncturing any kind of tissue or anything like that? That's why you don't go to poking it. You just kind of, you just kind of fill. Actually with her and heat, her normal hormone levels are estrogen is really high and it's producing a fair amount of mucus, and so sure. the cervix is relaxed, which mm -hmm. makes it easier, and it's also a little bit better lubrication. Just, good point. Okay. Yeah. But you get just past the past where that muscle is, and you kind of you can kind of feel the end of it with your finger, and uh, <clears throat> then I just uh, squirt it in there. It's really important. It's just inside the internal ring of the cervix because in cows, very unusual. They're usually long, very short, and they have long horns, and he doesn't know which side she's going to ovulate off. Mm -hmm. He really wants to drop it right there so the, the, the semen has equal opportunity to go either way. And that's, that's just it. 